Run. All right, YouTube, this is the first for me, but it is March, whatever day in March it is, and we're, uh, we're fixing up the Christmas lights. There's a couple that got uh, hit a little hard this year, so cleaning them up. Posted in the community forum. These will be up and running for anybody looking for a safe way to be entertained. So uh, hopefully people will enjoy it. Most of the skeletons are in the light display, but uh, we got three of them up, ready to go. And uh, yeah, we need to work on some uh, non-Christmas music. Maybe some funny songs like BG staying alive or MC Hammer can't touch this. All right, YouTube. So it's gonna be a little running around today. I just got to the hospital to drop some clothes off for the wife since she's supposed to be released today, and they won't let me in. Or they're not letting anybody in to visit. No visitors, period. So uh, dropped off her clothes, heading back home, uh, waiting for her to get released, and then I'll drive back up here. It's the state of things, so it's okay. At least they're being cautious. It was weird though when they walked in. There's three people standing at the entrance to where you park, letting them know people know what's going on. And then when you walk into the hospital, there's three nurses standing there, and they're literally taking everybody's temperature that's walking through. So, but uh, yeah. So, all right, we're uh, I'm gonna head home now, and we'll go from there. What's up, YouTubes? It is 70 degrees outside, a little windy, and I'm going to pick up my wife. Super excited, Kelly is getting discharged. I'm heading up there and uh, get her home and let her relax in her own bed. Boom. What's up, YouTubes? All right, so I talked about it like crazy in my last video. Uh, I am going to go through the steps to do a couple different things. I don't know if this will be one video or multiple different videos. We'll find out as we go along. Uh, the first up, we're going to do hand sanitizer that kills the coronavirus and just about everything else. So, before we get into anything, again, I don't know how I'm going to put this video together, but I have everything from alcohol, vinegar, witch hazel, hand soap, hydrogen peroxide, before you start messing with these chemicals, make sure you know what they do. So for instance, do not mix rubbing alcohol and vinegar. Then you have chloroform, and that's bad. Uh, so only mix any of the ingredients that I'm talking about. Anything else, you're on your own. So uh, that's my little disclaimer for the moment. Um, so, all right, let's dig into our first one. All right, real quick, actually, before we start, I wanted to go over a couple of these and how they actually benefit you around the house, because it's not all about rubbing alcohol or aloe vera, stuff like that, but all of these different things have different properties in just keeping things clean around the house. So uh, hydrogen peroxide is um, used on most surfaces. Like, you can just disinfect doorknobs, toilet seats, etc., cetera, um, and you can get a food-grade one for, like, cutting boards, things like that. Um, Rubbing alcohol, obviously. Strong scent, well ventilated area if you're using this, please. Um, and pre check your fabrics, uh, but it can disinfect everything else. Vinegar is one of the best. Uh, you can clean anything from food services, kitchen floors, windows, tubs, tile, all that fun stuff. Um, and it's you can actually use it for cleaning vegetables. Uh, there's a produce wash that you can make with it as well. So uh, the other one that I've used a couple times that I don't have out here is vodka. Uh, I did a video on getting rid of smell out of clothes. And vodka, 100 proof vodka, be the cheapest one you can find, doesn't matter. Spray that on the clothes that smell or fabric or anything, even if a dog smell is on it, smoke smell, anything. Spray it with the vodka, let it dry, and the smell goes away. So it's pretty awesome. Um, and then aloe vera itself actually has disinfectant properties, which is really nice. Um, and that's the nice part about when you get into the hand sanitizer um, soap, where you use the aloe vera, because that will help kill anything as long, along with the alcohol. So um, the first one we're going to get into, though, is going to be the spray, mainly because I can't find my pump bottle that I was going to make the soap in. Okay, here we go. All right, YouTubes. 
So first up is going to be our disinfectant spray. Um, this is basically water, uh, white vinegar, and essential oils. Now I will say, I do recommend uh, using a glass spray bottle if you have one. If not, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but if it sits too long, the essential oils can sometimes do stuff to the plastic. Um, but since you're not drinking this, it's also not that big of a deal. <laughs> so, you're going to start with your one and a half cup of water to a quarter cup white vinegar. And then essential oils of your choosing. I have quite a variety for all my beard oils and balms and soaps and everything else that I make. So, but one of my favorites is cedarwood oil, straight from cedarwood and a dash of sandalwood. You want to do eight to 10 drops total of whatever you're putting in. Now the reason I'm using this setup is because I only have a small spray bottle and this way I can actually pour it into this and then pour it into the spray bottle because actually you know what? I, there it is I didn't lose it I do have a funnel boom okay And that, my friends, is homemade Lysol. Okay, next one we're going to do is going to be a cup of water and one tablespoon of witch hazel. Uh, witch hazel is still 14% alcohol, depending on which one you get. So it still has some of those properties, but witch hazel itself is also a disinfectant and a cleaner. Uh, and then you're going to add the same... Um, drops i think i said eight to ten the other one but it's about 30 drops to give you an actual smell over on top of the witch hazel so it doesn't get to you um so that is one cup water tablespoon witch hazel and then essential oils and tea tree oil if you have it as well because that's also a disinfectant uh, and that's where that helps and comes into play if you don't have tea tree you don't need it but it does help um and yeah and then just make sure you store it in a cool dry place oh that's dirty all right, YouTubes, we are on to the hand sanitizer. Uh, the one, the Purell, if you will. Um, I make it a little different. Uh, it still has the same properties as the other ones of just a clear gel, but I prefer lotion. So, oh. For this one, you'll need a bowl, spoon, uh, what am I missing, a funnel, um, and then a bottle with a pump dispenser, if you have one. Um, a squeeze bottle will also work, anything like that, or you can keep it in a jar with a spoon if you want. So, um, mine, because I'm using an aloe vera lotion, I'm going to end up putting it back into this bottle to make it useful for us. So, uh, first up... You also need the rubbing alcohol, aloe vera gel, and then essential oils if you want it. Since I'm using an aloe vera lotion, um, I'm not going to use the essential oils in this one. Because I think it just smell really weird with the lotion and that. So, first. We're going to do a two-third cup of rubbing alcohol. I only have 91%. You want to try and find 99 if you can, because obviously that disinfects even more. But in the state of things, it's hard to find it as it is. So two-thirds cup of rubbing alcohol. Yummy. And then one-third cup aloe vera gel. I don't think there's going to be an easier way to do this.
All right, that felt miserably. Um, I need actual aloe vera. This lotion I thought would be thick enough to do it. I even doubled the amount that I put in. It did not. So, fortunately, I used the last of my alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and uh, isopropyl alcohol. Um, and, yeah, I mean, technically it'll still work. It's just really gross. See? Don't try that at home. Okay. Um, yeah. So, we're going to go out and see... I don't know if I'll find it, but if I can find some alcohol and, um, actually I could just find 100 proof vodka, that'll do the same thing, but I still need to find aloe vera. Luckily, the summer stuff is just starting to come out, so, uh, should be able to get my hands on that. Let's go. So it's almost 12 p.m. and I'm leaving for work to go out in the field. Uh, the company I work for is monitoring the situation closely, uh, but this was an eye-opener. Um, this is my apartment building and the parking lot at this time is generally, there's maybe like four or five cars. It's almost completely full. So you can see most people are working from home or possibly they might have a vacation day for St. Patrick's Day. A uh, company recognized vacation day. Um, but I know most companies don't. But I would say maybe 80% of them are working from home and 20% of them have the day off or a scheduled day off. So we can't really jump the conclusions, folks. Be safe, buddy. Yeah, Justin, get better. I agree. I think it's just lots of fluids. Maybe a little rundown. Uh, Kelly's doing better. The levels are doing better. Uh, there's a good chance she'll be home today. So, uh, yeah. We got that going, and that's about it. Uh, I do think, though, we are going to need a bro cruise here. Uh, I'm getting a little stir crazy. <clears throat> the kids are too, but just to go ch scope everything out. It was weird how eerie and empty the DGs even were. I did like their new initiative, though. The first hour is for old people, and they're closing an hour early. That's the crazy, you bitch, you must get a crazy, you know, sentado.